<laughs> Starting off strong. In a taxi car. Yeah, I decided to take the, a taxi to, um, police headquarters again to see if it would mess up again, but I, he didn't, so I got really disappointed in him. <laughs> so he got mad. Yeah, I, I, wanted, I wanted good entertainment. <laughs> Why isn't your AI going crazy? Lay there. You're really just rude. Oh well. You know, I think Wei doesn't is is doing this pretty terribly because like going back to the same place all the time the underground is a little suspicious. We drive fast. Occasionally they crash into something. Yeah. yeah. They end up killing I mean, you're, you're telling me that, 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 that the triads can't stake this place and just like wait until the cop leaves. Well, I mean, they don't know that this is a police station. Like this well, is the undercover police station. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, but if someone's following Wei, then eventually they're gonna get, gonna get here. Why would Wei go into a building all by himself? Fair enough. Oh hey, Jackie was on that billboard. Oh or, um, man, we're gonna board. race. Yep, we're doing actual racing this time. Oh boy. You know, I really hope it ends up emulating any sort of good racing movie where people blow up and die. Race you up for a race? I, I'm. I don't know. It, it's weird. Like I, I remember being able to like take out cars while racing, but like the the couple races I've done so far, like I just could not disable them. <laughs> Tell everyone you know, my curry fish balls will blow their minds. Hey, why is that the same noodle cup as the other place? Because they were probably served with noodles. That is ridiculous. Hey man, cheap cheap noodle bowls are uh, pretty common for street vendors. Anyway, uh, we have to use this um, race car for this uh, mission. I assume it's actually good though. It's not. <laughs> is it better than the taxi? Probably, but it's still not a good race car. I mean, it, it's kind of nice that it. It's got the red racing stripes, but... Eh, and it's got some sort of, like, code on the front? Eh. Can you redeem it for anything? No. No! I, I didn't mean to, I bumped Wait. it... <laughs> Why? I bumped it to the dude, and then it sent me careening into her. She wasn't involved in any of this. Well, for future reference, uh... You probably shouldn't stand in the middle of like two lanes of cars, but that are about to like speed in, speed off. No, that is standard racing lore. We're calling it lore now, right? Sure. So I can kind of see that uh, why you're saying the car is pretty crappy. Yeah, it's so slow. Can you like upgrade it at all? Or? No, there there are no car upgrades. Like, you're stuck with this car for this mission, and it sucks. Is it, like, necessary to get first place yes. or something? Oh, really? Yes. Wow, I thought it was one of those, like, okay, you've raced once to, like, you know, establish your name as maybe not the best guy ever. No, for pretty much any race, you gotta get first. Mm. I think there's maybe a couple of exceptions, but this is not one of them. So, can you use, like, the dash forward to give you, like, an infinite number of boosts? I mean, you can, but you kind of, like, s stop for a little bit after the boost, so... Uh, I don't know how much uh, benefit there is to using it. Damn. Can't exploit it. No. No, Bumper, why? <laughs> so... I know we saw like a guy or two crash and stuff, but does the AI bother with like combating itself? Uh, yeah, sometimes they will ram each other. Okay, so it's not like a whole, you know, player versus AI where the AI just rubber bands all over the place. Yeah. Not feeling the music though, I must admit. Yeah, this is just really generic race music. 
I mean, I guess it doesn't help either that, you know, it's it's very low, so you can't hear it all that much, but yeah. I assume that's more, like, just settings. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know how I pulled into first, but I'm I'm going for it. Get that chicken flag. It's a like cruising USA all over again, except in Hong Kong. Cruising world there. Good win. It works. Lucky for you, those Amaz kept getting. I seriously don't know how I managed to pull off first in that race. Want a rematch? Yeah, sure. I'll take you. I mean, did he blame that other people were getting in his way? Because he's right. Everybody knows I'm the best driver in this No, I, he didn't. Like, he. No, no one actually got in his way at the end. Like, he just kind of slowed for some reason. I like to think he wanted one of those, like, photo finishes. Which, <laughs> but just kind of, like, screwed up. I guess. Oh, yeah. Sick, sick donuts. Just a little more. <laughs> you know, maybe if you hadn't killed that innocent woman, I probably would have lost it, lost the the badge due to um property damage anyway. Hey, you gotta improve your skills, my friend. There's like no good way to not get property damage for um. Especially races. during a race. You yeah, think seriously. They, you think they give you a mulligan on that one? Yeah. Anyway, before we go see Tiffany, because she had, she has um something she desperately needs help with, um, we're gonna get an upgrade. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, we're gonna make our way towards an upgrade. Gotta keep praying. Now, would, do you think it'd be insulting if Wei was just, like, faking it, like, it didn't really believe the whole praying thing? Eh, maybe. I think it'd be really insensitive to his culture. It would. <laughs> I like how the method of getting out of a jam isn't to back up, it's just to drive more. Okay. No, I yeah, you just gotta help. drift out of it. <laughs> What's wrong? It's... It's this... A gun? Yes. Charlie made me carry it in my purse for him. He didn't want the cops to find it, so he made me... That gun is huge! Gone, yeah, I was about to say, it. like, this looks like a really big gun. A dog eyes people, right? Yes, and, and his thumb right? is clipping right through it. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not where your thumb goes. <laughs> sure, I'll take it. That's it? That's, uh, that's your big problem. Yes, thank you so much, Wei. I knew I was right to trust you. Don't worry, Tiffany, I'll take care of you. You know, as a, as a firearms owner uh, in Canada, this happens to me, like, every day. <laughs> someone, sees, someone sees, like, a, a Pop-Tart... Or you know, a water gun, and they come crying to me. Got something. <laughs> something for ballistics. A weapon belonging to one of Dog Eyes' men. Do you know Charlie Peng? Wait, how did you get Charlie Peng's gun? Never mind. Can you use it? Alright, maybe. I'm on my way. Who can't use Peng? Come on. Now, is Peng different from Ping? Uh, yeah. In that we never actually meet Charlie Peng. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess we don't meet Ping, uh, Ping either, but, um... Well, don't spoil everything now. Like, I need to... Andrew? What are you pace doing? myself Where's here. Where's Raymond? This is something I wanted to handle personally, Wei. Do you have Charlie Pang's gun? Yeah. I'm sure you've noticed the guns are something of a rarity <laughs> in Hong Kong. Not I've got my face. fingerprints all this over it. The gun is quite important. So who's the dead guy? I was hoping you'd help me with that, actually. Officer Shen? Take up a firing position. So, this is our tutorial to, um, gunplay. Okay, you ready? Aim with left trigger. Shoot with right trigger. Pretty standard. Fun fact, in the PS3 version, uh, aiming and shooting was done in L2 and R2. As opposed to L1 and R1 like most shooting games on PS3. Yeah, yeah that would throw me off. Yeah, it's really weird. Let's just talk about this. Fuck. So, yeah, I guess we're recreating a, a gunfight. This is this is just like the Saints. <laughs> so, when when in a gunfight, this game tends to play like a cover shooter. Mm -hmm. Also, I thought Pendrew was an enemy. 
Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> so for some reason, we're going to shoot up the uh, the environment first before we actually shoot any invisible men. Uh, so basically, uh, your cop buddy has brought you to a world of pure imagination. Yeah. Uh, you can blind fire too, but it's kind of pointless with a pistol. <laughs> Did that guy just walk away? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I probably would too. Just say, it's taking too long to kill me, whatever. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to get this guy behind the door, but it's not working. You're trying really hard to make sure he doesn't walk ever again in his life. I got him. Those windows are sturdy. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Just bulletproof glass. Shooting at the guys over there. How would anybody know this is how it went down? You know, that's a good question. There was a shooter firing shots from the passenger window. <laughs> so, this is one of the mechanics of Sleeping Dogs. If you vault over a, like, a cover while aiming, you will go into bullet time. Man. It's it's really cool just having on command bullet time. Yeah, I can uh, I can imagine it'd be really useful. But Charlie disabled the car. It makes the uh, the gun sections really fun. <laughs> Your weapon, officer. So uh, so that guy is actually cross dresser, right? Maybe. I told you he wasn't important. Now he is. He's going to help us nail Charlie Pang. It's for the greater good, Way. You understand? I don't think I do, sir. Way, I know who you are. You're just like me. Everybody you leaves do. their fingerprints all over that gun. Yeah, Way's and Pendrew's fingerprints are all over that gun. Now Tiffany's are, too. Must be really hard to find out which are the corrupt cops and which aren't because everybody's got criminal ties. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, you were asking about how uh, Pender knew how the 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 gunfight went. Mm hmm. Well, he didn't. Uh, so it was a world of pure imagination. I thought that was just both. Yeah, but but think about it. Like he just had Wave like shoot up the place <laughs> with Charlie Pang's gun. I I think it's really funny. You know, you mentioning that. Basically, all Way did was shoot at nothing. Well, Your no, he, he wasn't quite shooting at nothing. He was shooting at like. <laughs> That's a sweet misty flip, is all I was. Well, that that too, but like, uh, Charlie Peng's gun shot bullets into um pretty much everything in that little room. Also, don't try to carjack the police. It doesn't end well. Yeah, they're they're gonna think that Charlie Peng is like a mastermind or like a super accurate shooter shooting at everything else that isn't people also this is what happens if you get arrested you take get taken to the police station you pay a somewhat hefty fine yeah, it doesn't seem to be any worse than uh, dying yeah pretty much so uh mrs chu's restaurant got hit up hit up so um let's go see how winston's doing <laughs> <laughs> while almost running somebody over. Yeah, what the fuck's going on? Dog I shut up Winston's mother's restaurant tonight. Do you say who they are? It seems like a dick move. Dog eyes is a dick in general. You don't involve the parents, come on. And the customers too. Hello? Everyone's outside. Like, Way knows how important this is. We're hitting a switch up on the water. Scowling all the time. Drugs move to that place. It's how he makes his money. I want it burned to the ground. See who runs the operation. Put that hum guard on in the shadow grave. I don't turn my gear. It's over. Winston, are you sure about this? Of course, I'm fucking sure. Look, what's the chairman gonna say when he finds his warehouse floating in the ocean? This is not gonna like it. But there's no way Dog Guys walks away from this. So burn the warehouse, but take Suha alive. Put him to work for you, 
and give the chairman a bigger cut than he was getting from Dog Eyes. Okay. Okay, okay, do it. Bring him alive. You didn't take long to be convinced of that. Yeah, Wei's just got the power of, you know, persuasion. It's crazy. Wei's a very charismatic individual. Well, you know, he, he looked it up in special and decided <laughs> to give himself 10 points in there. Gotta know he fucked with the wrong people. Yeah, no kidding. We're short a gun. You know, if Dog Guy really knows see? anything about like, gang life and stuff, you'd think he wouldn't do this. Be workers in He's a greedy and asshole, and oh no, that SUV oh, we're, we're following just killed someone. This is Dog Guy's biggest money maker. They're not gonna get I think explosions would really help in the background. You're the new guy. Set the mood. Once you're it inside, would. Let me know if gun. if whoever gets ran is. Believe well and truly dead. You <laughs> you is over. It's okay. We're gonna ha we're gonna have plenty of explosions for this mission. <laughs> because this is technically the first mission we get to use a gun in. And also, the first mission with a jump integrated into it. Yes. It well, actually, no. That's not true because we jumped that car off the broad shit. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're we're back Slow here where jumps. we're we're back over here where um that death by a thousand cuts mission was. Oh yeah, poison. Yeah, we're not doing that today. Thank God. It's not it's not a a, a slightly bigger arena, but they have poison bullets with their guns now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's like Blight Town all over again. <laughs> and they're all wearing body armor. Headshots only. So it starts out standard, we just gotta beat up a bunch of guys. There's like one thing we can use for an environmental kill. Well, I mean, ever since you got the broken leg thing, I don't think it matters that much anymore. Oh no, I'm sorry, there's two environmental objects here. But yeah, Leg Breaker is really good, because it also wins it, or makes most enemies wince. Well, it stuns them, wins, they're pretty much disrupted forever. Yeah. I'm so to be honest though, I'm I'm kind of surprised it just it doesn't just like knock him out right away because broken leg. Some, yeah, it breaks somebody's leg. You're not really in combat anymore. Yeah. Uh, not in a fist fight at least, unless like you hobble up, like you crawl over to a dude and like pinch his ankle or something. Yeah, but this isn't Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> you get him with that Achilles heel. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? <laughs> I think this is the introduction to uh, fat dudes, and fat dudes are the worst. Because they resist most of your heaviest strikes, and unless you have your face meter up, um, you can't grapple them either, because they will just instantly counter grapple you. I hate dealing with fat guys. Do they put a lot of fat guys in the game? Uh, later missions, there are more and more of them. But can you, like, electric gun whenever you want or no well if you have a gun then yes you can use against them but then it becomes a uh, cover shooter not a um, melee fighter right right and then they all pull out their guns this is traditional yeah so we're gonna start things off a little simple you know extra electrocution but uh, I'm sure you've noticed them the big object here I'm really hoping there are joke kills where, like, you sit a guy down and you serve him a meal or something. <laughs> God, and these guys, like, just watch you do this? Yeah! Holy shit. Uh, okay, the big question I have, can you reuse the foundry? Thank God. <laughs> I feel like in the original you actually couldn't reuse it, but I'm, I really could be wrong. Because it doesn't make it. sense that you wouldn't be able to reuse it. Yeah, I hate when games give you like some sort of out like that, but then restrict you to only using it once. Yeah. We're gonna move on now. Yeah, that was particularly brutal, seeing the guy just like move around constantly. Yeah, I didn't realize that was actually in this game. <gasps> so, um, remember that like... When we when we jumped on to do when we vaulted over a platform in uh, the prologue. Mm -hmm. Well, now that we know how to use guns, if we vault over a dude like that who has a gun, we will we will disarm them and take their gun. The way his police training was incomplete until now. I guess yeah. Now he now he has knowledge of gun. But yeah, uh, slow mo. Or, well, 
bullet time gets extended if you actually manage to kill someone while in bullet time. Is it just kill or is it kill like with headshots? Just kill. Okay. But it, it leads to really silly situations where you can just clear a room just in slow mo. Look, you, you see that as a as a problem. I see that as a benefit. I'm not saying it's a problem. It's it's great. <laughs> Also, if you shoot red objects, or objects blown red... Oh, man. Yeah. That's perfect. Just love this game. Just don't walk over the fire. <laughs> oh, that was you? Yes. No. I thought it was just, like, them still screaming or something. So, I, I would want to do more, um... Vault, or, uh, bullet time, but... There's nothing I can really, like, jump over that won't take me straight down to the bottom. Right, right. So you can't, it has to be when you vault over something? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's kind of lame. Yeah, it sucks, but oh well. I mean, I guess they don't want you to abuse it. Kinda. I mean, um. they don't want you to, but I will do it anyway. <laughs> Did he fall over the railing? You know, I'm not sure. He's he might have. You know what, I'm just gonna pretend he fell over the railing and be really happy. <laughs> so how important is this Suwa guy? He's pretty important. Suwa, you're coming with me. Fuck you! You're not taking me alive! Stop! Ah! <laughs> Holy right, shit. Alright, so now Conroy and everybody is just gonna set the place on fire. <laughs> You're just gonna vault over it. I'm not just gonna vault over it, I'm gonna vault over it clumsily because I couldn't see the plat um the, the barriers because of all the smoke and fire. <laughs> also, please don't walk through fire. Yeah. Well I mean you're running through it and as anybody any movie with that action hero would portray it, that's okay. <laughs> Alright, so, for for whatever reason, the game still considers Siwa, um, an innocent. So be sure, if you're gonna grapple him, be sure you don't run it, or tackle grab him. Because you could push him into Foundry? Well, yeah, you could push him into that too, but, like, it docked me points because I oh, heard. Oh, right. <laughs> Why are you targeting their nuts? I didn't mean to. It just kinda <laughs> happened. Hmm. The jury's out on that one, my friend. I, I think MGS3 has led you down a dangerous path. <laughs> That's a good thing that motorcycle is right there, and the cops aren't shooting at you. Yeah, I'm not sure why the cops aren't really shooting at me, but I guess maybe because they're dealing with um, Conroy and everybody else. I think they know ways cover already. I think he's... Well, well maybe. <laughs> well, oh, wait, you know, no. they, they did it's... shout out his name in the it's... police station. There, there are cops chasing after me, never mind. It's fine. Also, this is the introduction to the action hijack, where you just leap from your vehicle onto another one and steal it. Awesome. It's so good. Basically, just hold A, and then when you get close enough to another car, that uh, just press A again, and you will just leap to grab them. And if you can leap to grab them, you will grab them without fail. I'm really happy that's a thing. What are you doing? It's so good. Shut up. You know what you just did? You're dead. You're dead. I'm not sure why I'm ramming that car like some another another one. But whatever. Uh, cars always travel in packs. <laughs> Whatever, I, I, I needed um, something to lengthen the, the driving for the conversation. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's summoned another car. Look, I don't give a shit about your problem. And you keep talking about it, I'm liable to forget I promised to bring you in alive. What the hell is wrong with you? You know what? Also, um, if you've got someone hostage, you really can't stop, because otherwise they'll just get out. Oh, really? Yeah, so you just gotta keep moving. <laughs> Also, you may notice that the gun icon is still up in the corner. Shut the fuck yeah. We can shoot in while driving, but that's not going to come into play for a couple more missions. Okay. 
Is it particularly good or fun? Well, I guess we should just wait until. Yeah. See you. Nice to motherfucking meet you. From tonight on, your partnership with Dog Guys is done. I don't know why you'd want to work with Dog Guys, anyways. Guys, a yeah, jerk. Winston's a much better dude. <laughs> Winston's like, yeah, we got benefits. I can give you 15 days off a year, no Keep questions asked. I get the feeling things are looking up for the Water Street Boys. Thanks, boss. Yeah, two hey, weeks man. vacation. Stay, yeah. stay here long enough with us. You get three. But, uh, It'll and, be great. And then all dog eyes can offer like maybe two hours of, a year <laughs> for time off. <laughs> But yeah, Conroy's gonna be less of an asshole to us now. N now that we've proven ourselves. Oh, cool. I still don't like him. <laughs> I mean, he's not a really likable character, all things considered. Nope. Oh, for a second, I thought you were locked out. Didn't realize you were in the right tab. Yeah, it doesn't default you to the, the proper tab. It's kind of weird. Uh, terrible. Game's terrible. 3 out of 10. <laughs>